In order to investigate any potential connections between the mystery of Oak Island and Portugal, Rick Lagina and his crew travel to that country. They talk to experts on the military history of Portugal, and they concur that stone shots quite similar to those found on Oak Island were employed there, which raises more questions regarding the origin of the bullets. In addition, the company visits a palace in Sintra that is rumored to have some association with the Templar Knights, who were in charge of administering the area. Later, they look into a Freemason-owned property called Quinta de Regulera, which has an initiation well quite similar to the money pit on Oak Island. The team keeps exploring the tunnels, while speculating on the significance of the links they have made, which reinforces their conviction that Oak Island is related to a previously unrecognized past, similar to how a Templar cannon was discovered in Portugal. In Lisbon, Portugal, a military museum is visited by Rick Lagina and his colleagues in order to speak with experts on the history of the Portuguese military. In an effort to prove their authenticity, they carry replicas of stone bullets that were found on Oak Island. The experts who verified their use claimed that stone arrowheads were used in Portugal, notably on ships and castles. They also show the team a cannon that may have fired stone projectiles similar to those found on Oak Island, proving that it matches. This finding raises questions about how the stone shot ended up in the money pit and about its potential connection to the wooden tunnels and concentrations of silver and gold that have been found on the island. The team next takes a trip to Sintra to look into a palace that is rumored to have some connection to the Oak Island mystery through the Templar Knights who owned the property. Antonio Augusto de Carvalho Montero, a Freemason, was the initial owner of the property known as Quinta de Regulera, which is situated in Portugal. There the squad goes. The property has an initiation well with a design that is strikingly similar to the money pit on Oak Island, and it is believed to have been the location of secret Masonic and Templar ceremonies. The money pit was once described as having nine stories and a 13-foot circle, which is quite close to how the hole is laid up. The gang discusses if the initiation well is a replica of the treasure vault on Oak Island, as well as the significance of the similarities they have found. They continue exploring the tunnels, while they consider the Masonic and Templar organization's enduring legacies. Their trip in Portugal has further strengthened their belief that Oak Island is somehow connected to this previously unrecognized past. The Templar Knight's first known location was Jerusalem in the 12th century originally a military order of seclusion-loving monks. It was their duty to protect the Christian pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land. They spent a total of 70 years being held captive on the Temple Mount and in the Temple of Solomon, hence the traditional conspiracy theory. Knights find a number of long-lost documents in Jerusalem. The Holy Grail and the Ark of the Covenant should then be sought after, and even now their descendants keep watch over the secret places. In order to aid the first Portuguese kings in the Christian Reconquista and to continue the Crusades, the Knights Templar established a permanent presence in Portugal in the 12th century. The construction of the castle that they erected in Tomar in the year 1160 was inspired by the fortifications discovered in the Holy Land. At the time, this castle was the most cutting-edge and contemporary military bastion in the realm. But in an effort to undermine the order's fame and power, Pope Clement V disbanded it in 1312, over two centuries later. To ensure that the crusading spirit of the organization was preserved throughout the discoveries, the Organization of Christ was created in Portugal as the genuine heir and curator of all of the Templars' material and spiritual wealth. The likelihood is high that the Legina brothers will end up with the bulk of the treasure. The current search being conducted by the Legina brothers on Oak Island is authorized by the treasure trove license, according to the first piece of information. According to this government law, licensed treasure hunters are allowed to legally keep 90% of whatever valuables they unearth. They go on to add that it is probable that multiple claimants would emerge and argue for their rightful possession of the treasure's contents if a sizable treasure were located on Oak Island. These claimants can make a case for why they should be granted access to the treasure's contents based on their place of residence, their ancestry, or some other factor. The common consensus is that many people will make an effort to obtain at least some of the renowned wealth, though it is difficult to predict whether any of them will be successful. In the end, 
The government and the Legina brothers are at least two of the parties who stand to gain from the wealth. These parties would each be able to legitimately claim possession of a portion of the prize. However, it is impossible to predict if a scenario like that will ever occur in the Curse of Oak Island. For a long time, it was believed that pirates who operated in the late 17th and early 18th centuries, golden age of piracy, found refuge on Oak Island. It was thought that these pirates had traveled the entire length of the North American East Coast and down into the Caribbean. When they made their discoveries, they wondered if they had accidentally discovered a pirate captain's lair of hidden treasure. But because the island was peculiar in that it was perched on a glacial tumulus, as they dug deeper, the shaft began to fill with water. Although there was no wealth to be found, the legend that developed around the purportedly hidden gold was so compelling that for the past 225 years, people have traveled to Oak Island in the hopes of discovering the treasure. In addition, as the years went on, more people joined the search for hidden treasure on the island outside of the Money Pit, which was the term given to the initial dig made by McGinnis and his associates. But what precisely is the treasure that is thought to exist? There are many theories floating around about what might be in the Oak Island treasure, and they range from the feasible to the absurd in terms of believability. The hypothesis that the relic in question is the rumored hidden fortune of a famous pirate from the so-called Golden Age of Piracy, which roughly encompassed the years 1660 to 1730, is the one that is most widely accepted and backed by the most evidence. Famous buccaneers and pirates like Edward Teach, often known as Blackbeard, patrolled the waters off the east coast of North America during this time, traveling from Canada to the Caribbean islands. Have you signed up? To be the first to learn when the next video is out, make sure to do so right away and enable post notifications. The governments of Spain, England, France and other countries that had a significant financial stake in the security of their commerce in this region were helpless to stop pirates from attacking significant colonial ships that were returning to Europe because of the high level of piracy that prevailed during this time. The golden age of piracy in the Western Atlantic only came to an end when the major European powers consented to add a clause to crack down on pirates in the Treaty of Utrecht, which ended the War of the Spanish Succession in 1713. Whether or not the money hole on Oak Island was made by humans is a topic of much debate. Geological evidence suggests that the money pit was not a man-made vault for concealed treasure. The bedrock on the island has a propensity to dissolve there due to the waves and the water table. This directly causes the construction of a subterranean network of faults and caves that has the potential to collapse and produce natural sinkholes. Despite this, the allure has drawn treasure hunters to the little island. The narratives have fueled skepticism about the circumstances leading up to the pit's development. On a distant island, a shocking new discovery was uncovered. Click the next video to learn more.